morning. We are flying on our way towards Waitsboro, North Carolina. We're on a tight schedule. We've got to be there before 5, and I estimate we'll be there at about 4.15. So no stops. About four and three quarter hour or so to get, or to get to the destination. That's what I think it'll take. As long as we don't hit any traffic, we'll be fine. There's been nothing but delay after delay after delay today. Uh. In 700 meters, take ramp on right to US 220 South. So we finally got out of all the construction that I was in. It seems like it's just endless, endless the things that could delay me. I don't even know if I'm going to get there on time today before they leave now. I might have to unload in the morning. Had plenty of time, but together with the traffic in New England yesterday and all the construction that I had to go through today, I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it. Take I had ramp on right to the US 220 South. I had plenty of extra time, right? Plenty. Ah, I think I'm going to get there as they're closing up now. They close at five. I think I'm going to get there as they're locking up. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe they'll stay a little later for me. I'm going to contact them here in a little bit once I'm in a safe spot to do so. Let's see what they say. But having to go through all these towns and cities isn't helping either. Good news! Good news out of this crazy, stressful, chaotic day. Uh, I pulled over and I got a hold of uh, the customer who's um, who I'm delivering to, my receiver. I'll let them know the situation. Endless traffic, endless construction, and there's traffic lights. There's nothing's working out for me. I'm running behind. I'll be there like at your closing minute. Would you still like to unload me? Trucker Josh and his superior negotiating skills and his persu persuasion skills uh, saved the day. They're gonna, they're gonna wait for me. I hate doing that to people because I know that when the clock strikes five or whenever your work day is over, you want to go home. I totally understand that. And to ask somebody to stay a little bit later to unload me, even if it has nothing to do with me, like it wasn't my fault. I hate asking people to stay late. But I figured I'd give it a shot, and if they said no, I'd be like, alright, well, I'll unload in the morning, right? Nope, they, they, they'll, they'll wait. They want the product today, I guess. Or they want to start working with it first thing tomorrow morning, I don't know. Either way, they're gonna wait, they're gonna unload me today, then I can run over to my reload and be ready and prepared to 
get my next load tomorrow, 7 a.m. Woo! It's rush, 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 and then wait. Good news is, uh, traffic seems to be non-existent now. Construction seems to be non-existent now. Let's knock on wood, everybody. And there's no traffic lights. Keep knocking on wood. We have 90 miles to go. 150 kilometers. Oh boy. Oh boy. We did it. Basil, we did it. We got there a little after five o'clock and they waited for me and unloaded me with a good attitude. Oh man. Sorry I didn't show you anything. I was sort of in a rush. I got there and you know I had my shoes ready and <laughs> shut the truck off. Got in the dock as fast as I could. Didn't want to waste any time there with anything. I just wanted to get, uh, get in and out as quickly as I could for them so they could go home. But we are empty now, swept out the trailer, and now we're headed to our reload. Uh, I'll be there tomorrow morning. Another day just flown by, flew by, flown, flew, flown. Looks like this Pilot Flying J is pretty full too. Let's see if there's any parking here, and if not, we're gonna go down the road to the Loves. We are uh, close to Benson, North Carolina, where I've gotta pick up my reload tomorrow. I need to find somewhere to park right now. Everything's always full. Always. I don't get it. You know? You know? We'll go around this way, see if there's any room over on this side. You guys ever find uh, or have problems finding parking? It's not even that late right now. It's not that late at all. Like, it'd be normal to be hard to find a parking spot. Well, maybe I'll park right here, you know what, on the gravel. Yeah, how about that, right here. This'll work. We're, we'll be out of the way enough. Oh yeah. And that's all I got for the vlog today. It was a, a rush day. This was my favorite part of the day though. I was on, what was this? Was this Highway 311? Going down through the south through North Carolina. It wasn't an interstate. I know we're kind of flying along here right now, but uh, because there was a lot to show you and I wanted to show all of it. <laughs> this is the U.S. Highway. Oh, it was so much fun going up and down around these corners and whatnot, up and down the hills. It's almost like a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Um, but uh, I just, I was in such a rush today. It was, I just had barely enough time to get there and I was even like a, a minute or two late I got there as they would usually be closing but like I said if you ask them really nicely sometimes they'll stay it was a smaller company so they had no problem they were in a really good mood when I got there and uh, it went really well and I was able to get that freight off my trailer I know I didn't show you any of it I was at least going to show them taking the freight off as sort of like a woohoo we made it but uh, I was so focused on just getting there today that I didn't get much footage, so I apologize for that. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm going to keep making these every day. And uh, if you do like to follow my life as I'm on the road and as I'm at home and just in general my life, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Helps me with the YouTube algorithms. YouTube hasn't been treating me so well in the last couple of weeks and months or whatnot. And I think it's the same for a lot of creators. They're all having problems, or a lot of people are having problems with YouTube. Uh, so the best way you can support me is hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and tell people about the channel if you like it. That's, uh, I need all of your help. <laughs> because YouTube doesn't seem to be helping me. It doesn't seem to be on our side that much. They're sort of leaning towards big TV media, big corporate media again, and the little guy is sort of getting trampled on, you know? Uh, it's not just me, it's a lot of others that are feeling this from YouTube, and I, I want to thank all of you who are supporting me on Patreon. Uh, I want to start doing a whole lot, <coughs> excuse me, a whole lot more for you guys, because you guys are what's keeping the channel running right now, because uh, with YouTube sort of throwing the little guys under the bus, uh, those guys there have been keeping us going, so thank you so much to those of you who support me there, thank you to those who have bought the shirts and whatnot. Uh, this channel is a, a, a big part of my life. And uh, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to, by that, I don't want it to uh, become unsustainable. All these programs that I'm using and whatnot. And uh, 
whatever. You guys get it. I don't want to go into a whole rant. I'll make a different video about this later. Thanks for watching this video right to the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> Apparently I need some water. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.